All right, guys, I got a packaging from Mad Bad Voodoo, also known as Colonel Richard Hunter. Uh, he has a new channel. It's called the Colonel Richard Hunter channel. Spelled just like it would normally be. I'll put a link to his channel in the description box below. Uh, go check out his videos if you haven't already. And if you're a gun guy or you like my channel, then I'm sure you're going to like his as well. So go check out his channel. Put a, dis uh, dis uh, a link <laughs> in the description box below. Okay, here's the deal. Richard told me that he saw that one of the hats I ordered, my Don't Tread on Me hat, came in a Mylar bag to my house and it came out really good it was fine when it got here well he wanted to test the idea of using a Mylar bag and told me offered me the hat as a test to see if it would hold up during shipping because he said you know basically it's gonna be less to ship a hat using a Mylar bag compared to using a box and I'm sure the shipping difference is pretty big on that. Um, also, my tactical hat, the other one, the multi-cam, came in a padded envelope type thing. Both those hats were fine. But I gotta tell you, this hat is as, about as flat as a sheet of paper. Okay? <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can feel is the bill, and the rest of the hat is as flat as that bill. So, I don't know how good this is going to work. Uh, basically, I can't really mess around with this because the address is... But um, the hat that came in the Mylar bag, the Don't Tread on Me, like the hat was put in there, and this was taped up over the, the main part of the cap that goes on your head, and it had a small address label here and a small return address label. So maybe that made the difference. I just don't know, but I do know this, that this thing, see how it came out. What the heck? There's tape in there. Don't know what for, but there was tape in there. Okay, well, you know what? This actually doesn't feel bad. There we go. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Do you? You know what? That actually, in person, Richard, that looks good on there, and I can tell you guys this, that actually stands out from the hat, believe it or not. I know on camera, it pretty much looks like it's the same color as other colors on there, but it's a totally different black than what's on the hat, and it's, you can see that, you can see it stands out on there. I like it myself because, um, it's a subtle, like, I also thought that it would kind of be cool if this were in red. But like Richard said, if you want to hunt in these, just as much as having that in red could be something that you wouldn't want to use for hunting. But I like the subdued look of that black on the camo. I think it just looks cool like that. And it does definitely stand out because it's a different kind of, it's a more like a silky material. That's the only way I can describe it. It's got like a shine to it. It's just a different color of black, so... Here it is, the Richard Hunter Mad Bad Voodoo hat. <laughs> hey, thanks for letting me test it out, and you know what? I'd say the hat's fine. There's no damage to it at all. I'll actually go ahead and put it on for a second for you guys. Okay, guys, there it is. Just a quick little look for you. Feels good, man. Material feels nice and smooth on the head. I like it. Thank you, Richard. Glad to test the hat uh, shipping Mylar bag thing out. And if you need any other help with testing, I'll be glad to do that as well. <laughs> All right, guys, go check out his channel. It's in the description box below. Till then, this is H4T, and I'm out.